Hello YouTube. Um, hello Ralph Smart and Teal Swan. I just watched your live stream and you could consider me uh, like your elder sister. Uh, my name is Julie. I've been on YouTube for um, quite some time or at least on the topic of alchemy and uh, enlightenment and expansion um, since way back in 2003. So I'm like your elder and I want to thank you both for um, doing what you're doing and guiding the people and asking the good questions. You've most likely not heard of me because I have been carrying a light or a torch so to speak for the Statue of Liberty and a love-based platform for we the people to gather and be our own miracle since 2003 and holding that golden stream of consciousness and letting it manifest in many ways but as an offering to the artificial intelligence which was opening up as I was awakening um, so was the world of uh, blogging and um, opening opening so it on so I felt a responsibility to use the technology to infuse it with divine care divine plan divine hope and in 2003 the alchemist in me which I believe you two can help grow the alchemist in me planted a seed for a Liberty tree a miracle tree of one dollar per person her free will, so to speak, her signature on their dollar, um, sending it to the same place to stand on the united ground that love is our power. Uh, this was my answer to 911, as opposed to the violent stream of vengeance that this system of people's consciousness uh, in the human realm, arms and force, police, violence. Um, these things are were being turned inside out to see the underbelly, to graduate out of the underbelly being the power. Human love is the power, so love merged with technology, love merged with artificial intelligence. It's our duty and I thank you both Ralph Smart and Teal Swan for standing on the ground of love as your answers um, to many of the emotional, mental, and um, spiritual topics uh, you address from, you know, where you've reached in your understanding. And same with me, that's what I've been doing. And I think maybe I haven't been, um, maybe my stream of consciousness was just too high for, or too golden, or too divine for anybody to even take notice. But now in 2020, I believe that perhaps with you two taking notice of the Liberty Tree, not me, just review back how I have been making a stand and using my voice, Ralph, for since 2003. Um, speaking of these two paths of which we have to choose and guiding us to choose to marry, merge our values with compassion, standing on the side of love, holding the Dalai Lama's hand as our power and um, using the multitudes of us who, who truly want to be ruled by the power of love. Um, one dollar at a time could be a human-made miracle making 333 million dollars in 33 days. I mean that was back in 2003. I thought we could raise 333 million people's free will to sacrifice one dollar with their free will to sign it and send it to okra um, for the a liberty tree for good news in the nightly news and on cnn good news of the human's free speech good news of our human activity and then that developed as war on terror developed and then the olympics came you know it developed into an olympic golden age an olympic shifting of human consciousness into our golden rule, our golden love, our golden care, that whole 
um, plentitude of golden age Olympic businesses and activities that we would be experiencing from now for a thousand years. That became a daily experience in my perception. And so I would try to fit into twi Twitter and YouTube and Vimeo, but really I'm, I think my job was to project us far out into the golden age and then work my way back so that eventually, like right now in 2020, it will all make sense. And we can see how we can be at this, at this pivotal crossroads. And this is why I say it's between either if we choose, it's a dot-com world, but is it dot-com passion with Tibet as power, with the White House and the Statue of Liberty and we the people and the tree of life and businesses and people connected in those life and businesses doing business that's good and loving and compassionate? Or is it dot-communist world? A communist is where you really are, like Teal Swan said live today with Ralph Smart. Take it to the level where there really is the armed human ready to take your freedoms, torture you, and probably kill you like they do in Ch CCP, China, Tibet, um, to the Tibetans. And make that as real to you American as possible that you are now at that moment of standing down. Which did you choose to rule on your government? Communist or compassion? Barack Obama sided with communist. George Bush sided with communist. In 2003, I was standing with compassion. I called to Oprah Winfrey. Then she went in 2008 to the Obama plan. And then, you know, on and on, here we are. Now here we are, 2020. So let's give compassion a chance. The Statue of Liberty stands for that. If you like it, if you want it, I think we're ready. Uh, we can sing songs about it. I sing songs every day about it. Um, maybe it's time for me to start singing songs. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm a quiet inside person. I just wish like my car had a camcorder, hidden spy cam that would do my car quarantine songs every day and the 10, 15 years before this day. I wish all my songs and prayers offered for free to the world could somehow softly land on their heart and we really could catalyze a golden age. That's why I put the spiritual son of Tibet on top of the White House. If you stand in that light, you'll see. And that's a miracle age. So investigate Liberty USA starting in 2003 or 2002 if you want or 2001 if you want whatever um, but let's get on the same team and if I can be of any use to the team of what to do what to do sign your name of free will say love I want to love to be my power I want to add my name and my voice to the Liberty tree send that dollar to the same place a one world network space like a own network except we've elevated what this own network is embodying one world networking on the ground of compassion with the logos and the affiliated golden age companies and the grounded golden age business ethics of best practice humans are waking up in our ground of our heart and we're using technology to reflect how we rapidly heart-based fix our problems solve and answer our own cries we have within us the intelligence to do so that's what the Liberty platform stands on on the ground of Amici's love the Dalai Lama's wisdom Jesus's sacrifice giving his body to show what love can do so thank you Ralph smart for saying you know the people need to gather on the ground of love yes and we need to make it real and we need to make it political and religious and we need to make it very clear break we need to divorce the gun it's all I think about it's all I talk about because until we get that right we ain't on the side of love ma'am I don't care how shiny the teeth of the Obama president he ain't standing on the side of love so it's time we stand on the side of love that's what I recommend us do and we solve these problems. And we have a huge powerful movement of we the people who also know how to navigate technology that could never allow the censorship 
of a love voice because love is in charge. If something is censoring our loving voice, our John Lennon song, censoring the humans from expressing their heart, censoring Tibetans from saying, we want our Lord of love, His Holiness Dalai Lama home. We want to see him. We want to see him in person. We want to feel our love and see him in his palace. We want him home. And to make that cry worthy of being tortured and possibly and most likely punished by death, this is what is a reality in the China CCP in Tibet. And like Martin Luther King told us, an injustice anywhere threatens justice everywhere. So when you see the Chinese flag, take it to that extreme of someone being murdered point blank, tortured first, still to this day, for calling for His Holiness to be home. Compassion, King, to be home in the palace. Move with me for us to be on the golden ground of a humans and a world where that makes perfect sense and is completely doable. And men everywhere that have formerly been attached to weapon around their second chakra are now separated, separating man from weapon. Man grows long, happy life. Weapon transforms into long, happy life mountains and walls and hotels and towers and Olympic, all kinds of like Dharma Disney World kind of activities. Dharma meaning the path of virtue aligned with the ground of light, heart-based intelligence. So I'm here. I love my solitude and I love, you know, I've been doing this whether anybody follows or not for almost 20 years, but um, I just want to make sure I don't have any lingering uh, regret that, ooh, I didn't reach out more with the technology. I didn't try to connect or build a, build a following or build a community more. I have to trust that the loving intention that I carry with me through my day and since the alchemical experiment for the Liberty Tree, the money tree, you could contact Greg Klaumanser. He got the, he was one of the original 33, gregklaumanser.com. You could, um, Sridhar Silverfine of Liberty, I mean of um, Joshua Tree, that whole Joshua Tree um, network. Um, Sridhar was on the 33 Miracle Plan in 2003. Charles Muir was on it. Tom Schaefer was on it. So um, perhaps going back into the life or the tantric authenticity path of your older sister, Teal, um, you know, I, I went on the, the sexual inner healing journey as well and revealed and opened authentically um, through this past 17 years vulnerably on this internet with no interest, but still hopefully beneficial. So perhaps going into the story of her elder, we might see a, a plan start unfolding of how we all fit into this awesome plan and we bring our followers and we join together. And if anybody has any questions about what the Liberty Tree would look like or what it means after you've reviewed anything that I've put out since 2003 around the topic of the ground of a Statue of Liberty, ground in human rights, kindness, compassion as our power, um, then please contact me message me okay aloha i'm stopping because sometimes my computer sucks away my it censors me before i can even attempt to even post it so aloha love and um liberty usa 33 uh, julie christine 33 tantra usa soon okay thank you aloha